What's going on ninjas? What is happening? Welcome to another day, another video. The one, the only. So today is gonna be a little bit of a different video. Today uh, we're gonna reveal some things, some things that I had been planning on revealing for a while and then I was like, no, I'll wait. But then I'm thinking, okay, the season's around the corner. If I don't reveal it now, I'm just gonna get busier and busier. And uh, so that's what we're doing. Hope all you ninjas are doing good, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. That's it. Let's get into it. What's up, ninjas? What's up, Whipper? What's up? What day is it today? Today is Wacka Granny Wednesday. Wacka Granny Wednesday. And uh, do you know why you're here with me today? We are revealing something, I do believe. That's right, Whipper. We are revealing something, and uh, that one thing that I'm about to reveal is quite simple. The truth. Where are we? We are at the dealership of the mowers. <laughs> I can't is... think of the name of. <laughs> Master Mowers. Master Mowers, come walk with me as we're talking. What are we doing here? We are here, number one, to pick up the... The 61. 61. Absolutely. Now there is an issue with it. Remind ninjas what the issue was. So we had no PTO. We had no cutting. And what was wrong with it? Um, it ended up being the uh, something in the wiring harness, but also the clutch uh, mm -hmm. to the PTO. So everything got replaced. Yes, they took care of it. It was all warranted. And we tested it and, and the tested blades it. spin. They spin. Of course, we're here to pick my mower up because yes. this is what I had traded in with the old 61 um, standard. Right. But revealing the truth, Revealing the truth. We talked about it a little bit just a minute ago, but uh, what would you say I'm talking about when I say it's time to reveal the truth? That's Somebody true. who's what? Honest? Absolutely. Okay. Honest. Trustworthy? Trustworthy. It's got your back? Oh, yes. And uh, loyal to the bone? Loyal. Loyalty is key. Now, who would that one person be that I'm talking about? What's up, ninjas? What is up, Michael? What's going on, man? How's it going? I'm going good. How are you? Doing well. Enjoying the uh, rainy, overcast Georgia weather. This yes, week. yes. And a uh, flooding we've had for two weeks. Flooding. We got like what? What for five inches? Uh, this of, week like, alone. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So it's crazy. Yeah. So now with mower purchase, you get an inflatable raft. Woo! <laughs> we need that. Do you just hit the button and it pops out the side? Well, good to see you, Michael. Uh, now you know every time I visit here, I was just telling the ninjas I picked up that 61 that uh, we had some issues with, and yeah. you took care of us. But I always enjoy to uh, talk to you and then uh, maybe show us around. What's new? What you got? What's any kind of special deals? Anything like that? So always, I guess recently, uh, if we talk right first, the big promo has been the 18 percent off so for y'all that don't know that ends february 29th kind of these one-off weird winters we've had minimal snow nationwide mm -hmm. it's a leap year so everything's kind of the perfect storm to do a crazy deal yeah. i've got a bunch of uh, new units as well as some old model stock stuff that's got even deeper discount to it now is that 18 percent just one mower or do you have to buy a bundle or two nope, or one okay. mower okay that's so awesome. basically that's you wouldn't get discount. that discount yeah. otherwise unless you were buying six or more units wow so it's a super deep discount for for all yeah. of the uh single and you know amazing. two truck operators and basically. that's till march what february 29th oh so that's yeah. you've oh. got the basically box. 10 days then they can order that of course over the phone lock yep. it in call me lock it in as long as i can process your paperwork and register it and get and get funded by the sure. bank or paid before then you can pick it up afterwards that's fine that's well, we gotta have deal. the deal done by the end of so the that's what right okay that's okay right if we Any? look at ferris you ferris? can see an array of stuff out here and of mm -hmm. course we'll tour the building as sure. normal sure but the, I've got everything from the Z1s, Z2s, and Z3s. Mm -hmm. uh, if you all see the random black cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's the security right yeah, there. <laughs> that's the security. Wow. So we got a mixture of the Z3s, as you see from Nick's videos. Yes. Uh, 52s and 61s in stock with both 33 and 37 horse vanguards on the 52s. Mm -hmm. And obviously the big 37s on the 
61. And there's RC. What's up, RC? Hey, brother. How are you doing today? Good. I nice. do have I do have Walker, so we'll touch on Walker. Okay. That Walker's got some new stuff this year, and we'll, we'll venture over there in a minute to check okay. out the new R model for oh, the homeowner. Sweet. Yeah. But They're just cool. a caveat with people with Walker, sales to service area only, so basically you need to be within the state of Georgia for me on Walker. They're mm -hmm. very hardcore on buying from your local dealer in your area because they feel like they can best service you with warranty parts. That's good to know. I mean, but sure. Great, so you know, customer service. Yeah, so yep, yep. Walker's a family-owned company, so it's that's kind of their value base of how they operate. So they want you to stick we want to honor area. that for them. Cool, cool, cool. So if we take a look real quick, this R21 here on the end is this is the first year they've brought out an actual call it residential grade model. Okay. It comes in a 42 or 48 side discharge deck. Okay. It's the EZT transmissions and a 7000 series Kohler. Now, a lot of y'all are going to say, why would a commercial company bring out a residential mower and put an EZT transmission in it? Mm -hmm. The amazing thing is with this, the way the transmissions are seated in there going forward, it only uses 50% of the, the transmission capacity. Oh. So they're actually underworking the transmission so much they don't have to oversize them. Wow. So wow. everybody else runs the transmissions basically up to max capacity, so you have to put larger units. Gotcha. No, that's actually really smart. That's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty so good. You can get away with a, a, a lower a lower price point. I'm not a Walker guy, Ninjas. You already know that. But from talking to Michael and a couple other individuals, like some areas and some individuals, this super hot item. Yeah, if you've yeah. got if you cut really uh, low warm season grass where you're cutting inch and a half, two inches, and you don't want to use a real mower, that's kind of the market you want to go to. That floating yeah. deck is a unique thing. What's the them. speed on it, Michael? Ground speed on these, you're going to be about six, seven miles an hour. So that's what I was telling you. Yeah. They're just a lot slower, and most of them are designed for bagging and right. all Slow, that. Slow, so. manicure, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay, okay. And then of course, is this just the uh, another... Uh, now, this is a Kohler engine. So, yeah, so the Kohlers are no longer available in the eyes, so I've brought in all the remaining intensities, 36 with this 19 Commodore. i got five left. Okay. And those are a super, super deep discount. You're closer to 24, 25% off on one of those because it's a last it's a last year's model to get moved out so no more of those engines no more of those these are the last of these okay okay and uh this is the z1 with the 23 horse yes, vanguard sir. yep so okay because so obviously briggs briggs is top of the line is vanguard briggs owns ferris that's their overpowered engine for the 36 stand on and that thing has been phenomenal what's the hydros on this what is the 3400 3400s zt 3400s so what would you say about this unit comparing it to like the 36 inch intensity or maybe some of the others is, is is like obviously i'm noticing right away the engine is bigger so yeah, that's so the, a that's a plus so the engine's bigger is the big plus the integrated transaxles do seem to handle smoother so when you have a pump and wheel motor set up and you have hoses connecting them then you do get a little bit of drag mm -hmm. on the integrated transaxles on a hill it's it's a little smoother okay what are you doing whipper oh there it is whose yeah, name why is, is my name on there oh i thought you were picking this up no i didn't order that Really? No, why is it? Who's Nick? Let's, let's Must go. be another Nick. Maybe. Looks like you are stacking well, up for a hot summer. <laughs> I feel like a used car salesman with that stacking them deep and selling them cheap motto going on. But I mean, on, mowers. honestly, that's what we do. Yeah. Price moves mowers and the quality's there in the product. So go where you can get the best deal. Yes. That's what we're here for. Yes. But obviously all the all the white plastic is Ferris. Um, okay. I, I mean, I keep a hundred in stock. Most dealers don't sell a hundred a year. All the wood crates and wool venture, you'll see even more of these. There's a ton more rights in stock. You hear that, Whipper? That's Most old. dealers don't even sell 100 a year. And how many do you sell, roughly? Oh, 600 plus. What's up with these three Ferrises in here? So this is one customer he called in. He'll be taking these next week. So we got these set aside. So he's getting a 61 and a 52 Z3 and a 36 Z1. Wait, he bought all three of them? Buying all three of them. Some serious mowing. Tell us about these Toros. Most of y'all don't know, but we are a Toro dealer. Uh, so Toro this year changed their Titan HD series. They discontinued it for 2019 and they morphed it over to the, they're calling it the Z Master 2000 series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I got a special deal on buying out. I got two truckloads of these Titan HDs, wow. uh, mainly 1500s left at this point. And I even have some, a few Z Master 5000 series, but they changed for next year that the engines have the heavy duty air filter system on them. Okay. And they've upgraded the hydros to 3400. So for example, these are going to be 20, uh, 3100 series hydros. And obviously you don't get the air filter, but you're going to save almost two grand. So if you're a large acreage homeowner, this is a perfect unit. If you're starting in the business, this is a perfect unit for you. It's a four year commercial warranty and you've got three years on the engine. 
Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, you can't beat that. This is a solid, solid mower. I, I really like the it's side beefy. look here. Yeah, it's beefy. That's exactly what I was about to say. But they don't make them anymore. They do not make this model anymore, so that's why the deals are so strong. Gotcha. Red Max. Randomly, you're going to see a Red Max mower out here. People will say, Red Max, I know them for backpack loads. I was about to say, tell me about this Red Max, because I've seen it at the GIE, but I didn't get a chance to check out much. What does it compare to? So Red Max is actually owned by Husqvarna Group. Correct. So okay. the Red Max mower is the previous generation Husqvarna PZ. So this is equivalent to a PZ54. They call this the CZT, and this is the L model. Okay. So it's an FX730. It's a pump and wheel motor setup. And the strong thing behind these mowers is it's a five year, 1250 hour commercial warranty. Wow. All right, Michael, what do we have over here? I see a bunch <laughs> of bumblebees. Yeah, so stacks of mowers back here. Um, <laughs> all of the wood crates are actually rights that just came in with the promo this month. I've, I've almost sold out inventory. I had to reload, Gosh. came in this morning. But all these units you see back here, as with the red tags on them, are all sold for customer orders, waiting for them to come pick up by the end of, they're supposed to be going out the end of this week or first of next week. Wow. So. Oh, I like this. This is that, uh, the this trimmer is the holder. New, yeah, the new trimmer. So tell us, the was this holder? upgraded? So this is an upgrade. Uh, actually a very inexpensive upgrade. It's $105. Okay. And so you get the bracket here. So if you're out on a property, why would you want to carry a trimmer around, especially large acreage properties when you no. can just ride it with you? The one question a lot of people always have is, can I put a grass flap on a mower and will it work with a catcher? And I'm going to show you, yes, it will. Okay. So this catcher is mounted in Wright's thing. I can take it off and there's the grass flap mounted to the mower. Oh my so goodness. So it all works right around it and you don't have to sacrifice one or the other. That's awesome to have. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Master Mower, RC, and Michael here. Man, you deserve the name. The truth. And Appreciate here's what, what is the truth? The truth I, We just is, talked about it. Yeah, shooting it straight, being honest, being loyal, and you know, giving you what you need. Customer service, man. Yeah. You yes. are top of the line. Absolutely. And I don't say that lightly just because um, you're going to have different experiences at different dealers, but, and I had great experiences at multiple dealers, but here I was just telling RC, I feel like I'm home, man. You're knowledgeable, you take care of your customers and you freaking have the inventory and you're helpful, man. <laughs> you call yeah. people back. Yeah, <laughs> I return phone calls. I don't get paid if I don't return a phone call. Exactly. That, that, that's so, why I don't understand how some yeah. of these other dealers, but. Hey. So the, the other thing we try to pride ourselves on is always having demos. And you would see it here, but it actually went out yesterday for demo as a 70K, 72ZK with the dual wheel package. I've got a Z3 out front, that's a demo unit. Okay. So I wanna keep stuff in stock that people wanna try out. Yeah. Because how do you know if you wanna spend your hard earned money without trying it first? I can't expect you to come drop $8,000 or more without being sure that you're buying the thing you want. Sure, so what are these here, Michael? Uh, so as you can see, this is all service work. Okay. And other than the few push mowers you see here, you guys notice everything else is commercial. Mm -hmm. So we are a 99% commercial shop. We don't end up dealing with little push mowers and riding tractors and the basic stuff because that clogs up you guys making money. That's it. This is what keeps you up and running. So we focus on that. Do you take trade-ins? We do. Okay. So up here, everything with a with a neon tag on it is a trade we've taken in recently and put okay. up for sale. And some of these I haven't even had a chance to uh, get pictures of, run it through service and put it up, but we will take trades. Awesome, man. For a lot of people, it helps them get started in business. So this came in the other day and I, I haven't really noticed or paid attention, but we showed you the turn holder for right. Yes. So for those y'all that don't have a right or have another mower, this is actually made by Trimmer Trap and it is the same trimmer oh, holder same ordeal. that you should be able to mount onto any any stand-on or commercial sit-down mower. Very interesting. So as you can see, we have a uh, glorious showroom that is a shop. Okay. So everything you do you can be in our shop see what we're doing working on stuff now that is awesome man yeah we're yeah. not going to keep you out front with an insurance sign that says wear a hard hat and don't don't bother us <laughs> so we're able to come in here and just hang out and watch yeah, I mean, we just walk in the front door you are in our lobby that is in awesome the shop. that is awesome and we don't mind showing you what's up that is awesome that's see. what we want to do we want to educate Hello. you about what's going on with your lawnmower sure. so everybody's happy when you leave here you know welcome hey, to costco welcome to costco this is my lovely wife brandy hi brandy hi. Good to be say hi to the ninja. Say hi, ninjas. Hi, ninjas. There you go. <laughs> did you did you Sorry. hear that whipper? Costco. <laughs> so I love when they refer to this as our as our Costco showroom because we do put the handheld on the wall, obviously, and the smaller mm -hmm. mowers in here. Mm -hmm. But everything is stacked, so it's warehouse style because sure. that's how we have to operate. I don't have enough physical space in a, in a real showroom. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. But if, if you want to pay more money for equipment to uh, enjoy a heated and air-conditioned showroom, nah. uh, we're not your place. Nah. <laughs> Everybody needs to get that smaller mower to get through gates, but nobody wants to push with a 21 anymore. 
So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the 30 inch X Mark or Toro. Mm -hmm. So Toro obviously owns X Mark, the same mower. The beauty of this unit, rather than pulling the pins on an X Mark, is you have a single height adjust lever for the front. Okay. Same thing for the back. So it's quick and easy to adjust the height. Okay. This is your mower if you want to bag a lot. So this comes with the bag, the mulch, and the discharge chute. And obviously it's a seven horse Kawasaki. So more, more manicured yards, bagging a lot. This is probably the mower you want to go so to. So you're pretty much saying it's pretty much designed for a bagging thing. Yeah. You don't have to, but it's designed, designed for Designed to bag or mulch. Gotcha. So you're not going to put it in super thick, dense grass like you would a big mower. Um, so you want to keep this a little more manicured. Okay. Now what is this? So this is actually the Snapper Pro, the SW15. So this is the same unit as the Ferris FW15, which is brand new for 2019. And the only difference between this and the Ferris is the paint color and the stickers, same mower. So okay. this is a really neat unit. They've put twills on the front. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What'd you just say, repeat that? Twills. You have twills on the front of the mower. In the back, you've got pneumatic tires, so you have less compaction and density on the ground. So with the swivel casters, you're able to lock them in place if you need to on a hill, say, to keep yourself going straight so you don't nosedive down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say you can lock those so they don't have to turn? Yep, so you can take this, push the pin, and it's locked. So it's like a push mower now. Now it's a straight push mower. You can push it here, and it operates more like a walk behind. Nice! Really cool thing here is the height of cut adjust. Okay. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This super simple, and you can see I'm actually having to push down on the lawnmower to get the, the mower to go down, um, and it naturally lifts itself up. The spring counter tension is designed in reverse, so you're not having to lift or push heavy. Unreal, man. It's a single drive hydro, and you can steer it super easy with your hand. It actually has a differential built in down there too. It's a hydro to a differential. Wow. Wow. And then this is a 10 horse Honda. 10 horse, okay. So okay. this is not a push mower. This is like a miniature walk behind. It's basically like a miniature walk behind. So the only caveat that you can't do with this that you can do with a larger walk behind is put a, a sulky behind it. Okay, okay. okay? You, well, yeah, at that, that point, yeah. You need to go onto a walk so behind. So <laughs> I put these like this so we could get a quick view that this is kind of your push mower stretch. And then this is the traditional bigger walk behind stretch. And then you got the and middle. You've got this. So if you think about it from a price point standpoint, this is a hydro, more like a walk behind, but you're basically paying a belt drive price for a hydro type unit. Plus, you're going to be in a fixed deck in something like this, where this is more, it's still a fixed deck, but it's an easy adjustable. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What? Oh. What are you doing? Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. What's that? Y'all need to take this. What? All right, now you can put the gate up.